Bonjour. Hey guys, what's up? It's the Migrating Coconut here with a Minecraft mod showcase. Actually, there are two mods in this showcase. One is called the Hat Mod, and one is called the Hat Stand Mod. It's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> but if if you're wondering why I'm panting, which I'm sure none of you are, it's because I just ran naked through a parking lot. But let's get started with this. So first off, in the Hat Stand Mod, hello, Mr. Creeper. I didn't even know you spawned here. Where'd you come from? Anyway, anyway, in the Hat Stand Mod. First off, let's get started with how to build the hat stand. What you need is one slab and one stick. It can be any type of wooden slab at all and any type of stick. I know, it's weird, right? Oh, and, and then, oh, here's my crafting table right above my bed. So, you have this. You put your stick in the middle and you put your slab underneath to create your hat stand. I have a lot of these over here, so let's just get rid of this one. And if you click your hat stand that you just placed, you can choose what hat you want to put on it. Now, it can be any hat you want, you know, just, they all look good. Anyway, if you look into your right corner of the GUI, there's a big X, which is removed, but under that is personalize. You can use that by pressing H while in the GUI, or just press the personalize button. Now, this, this is where you can change the color and um, appearance of the hat. If you want to reset the color that you made, you press shift on random color and it changes into reset color and the next thing in the GUI is a head now if you press the head button you will change how the thing looks so if I put a head on here by going to randomize and pressing whatever head it shows up as a pig and then on a head now you can still change it from there by add also adding a hat and stuff but also next thing you can change the base too by pressing yes or no. Basically, it's, it's self-explanatory. You can also choose if you would like a stand or not, and that is pretty much the whole use of the, this mod. That is pretty much it. Now, another cool thing about the hat mod is if you go and put it on a wall, it will lose its peg, but you can still do exactly everything you have with it. The same exact thing. And I think it's kind of cool if you have like no base because then it just looks like something's floating. Look, okay, if I, if, where is it? You can make it appear that an object is floating when it's really not, so you can hang like ornaments on the wall. So that's another useful purpose if you have like a server. Also, these things are really great on a server because, um, as you might or might not know, depending on why you're here, the hat mod works like this. If you upload your own customizable hat, it'll send it to the server, and then it'll send it to everybody else so they can see your cool hat. Now, this is basically used for server use. Hey, hey, what's up, man? For server use, you can use it if you don't want to. Um, if I mean, you can use it either way. It's not just for server use, but I think that's what it was intended for. I don't care. I'm not using it for server use. Look at me. I'm the rebel. I'm the rebel here. Another cool thing about the hats mod is that the hats... When you spawn in, you spawn on hat collecting mode. Now, hat collecting mode basically lets um, animals have hats that spawn on their head. Hello, Leonardo. They have them spawn on their head, and then you can kill them and get it. Let me show you. Now, if you kill the, the object in question, it just loses its hat. But it has its hat on, so, you know, I mean, it's kind of cool that way. But the animals do spawn with their hats on. It's kind of cool, because look at that. It's got a sombrero. Hello, Leonardo. And more and stuff. Hey, hey, you want to go for a swim? Oh, darn it. I thought there was a pool there. So I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Either way, it's a cool mod. Hey, don't get... No. 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 Bad boy. Bad boy. Next, with the hat button... Uh, no, hat mod. If you use a stand, and then... You know, hat stands are very important in this mod... They're not even in the same mod. I don't know why he wouldn't include it in the same mod, but he didn't. Guys, remember, shift will be your best friend for this. Shift will be your best friend. So, let's go through the categories for this. If you, by pressing H, you come to a bunch of stuff in this GUI just by pressing H. This is where you choose what um, hat you want to wear and what other people will see you wearing. <laughs> yeah. I love you. Okay. So if you press H on your keyboard, it will open up another GUI, but this is your personal GUI. This is where you choose a hat that other people will see you with. So, you know, like a bunch of other stuff. But let's go through on how to use this GUI. 
Now, if you use the um, go to colorizer, it basically does what it says. It changes the color of your object and how it looks. Basically, you can reset that by going to random color, pressing shift again, and pressing reset. Watch. Shift will be your best friend, but if you don't press shift, it'll just change it into a random color. No, you can always just go back to the 255 for everything. That's what I think it usually is. But by pressing the same button you used to go to colorize it, it goes back to the hats option. Now next, we go back to the start of this and we see that there is a random hat button. Basically, it does what it says. And if you look to the right of the letter, no, not letter. If you look to the right of the word, you can see that there is a, a word, letter in parentheses. You use this to f do whatever you want, basically. R and it's like this for everyone. There is a shortcut for every single one of these. But let's go back to the beginning. If you go on random hat, it does exactly what it says. But if you want to go to favorites, you just press that. It's that simple. F. You press F or click it with your mouse. But the thing about that is if you want, there's nothing in your favorites. But if you want something to be in your favorites, hello flag in my head. If you want something to be in your favorites, you go open this up. You press on the one that you don't want. It can be like right by it. Like, um, if you want the Nyan hat or the Norwegian flag or Mr. T, let's go with Mr. T. I want Mr. T. So I go to one, buy it. It can be here. It doesn't matter. The point is you want to press shift and then click on the one you want. Then you can do, um, delete hat, disable it. If you shift and then press it, or you can add to favorites. See this, I'm pressing shift without shift. It's delete, but with shift, it's disable it completely. And you can add this to a category, or you can add this to favorites. So let's do both. I, di I didn't do it right. So we go over to favorites, and we see it's right there. But if you don't want it in your favorites, you've got to have a different hat again. And press shift again while clicking on it to select, to select what you want to do with it. Now I can add it to a category, and I can shift on the hat button for more options. Yeah, I know that, okay? With the categories button, you can look at the all hats or the contributors of the hats mod or something. But if you look down to right here, you find that there is this little thing called category name, and you can name it whatever you want. I have so I you know I have the perfect name for this. It's called. And now it is my new category, and I can add stuff to the new category by. I go back to the hats list and I shift click again and I can add it to a category. I can add it to this category which I made because the other ones were already made so they are already put in a category if they go in that category and it's kind of confusing but basically you can't put other hats in the categories pre-made. That sounds better. So you just click on that and now it is in your categories where see it is in your categories. And that's how you do it. Next off, if we press the reload all hats, it will discard every change that you've made to any of your hats. I haven't made any changes, but if I did, it would have. Um, so next icon is the, with the search option, you can search for any hat that has the letter in it, and it will show up the um, latest results. So if I wanted to do something with an O, then I would see something like this. Okay, hello, hello, my name is Susie. Would you like to marry me? I would. I'd marry myself, but I can't. <laughs> okay, thank you all for watching. That was a pretty good showcase, if I have to say so myself. I don't mean to brag, but you know, I, I looked pretty good back there. Anyway, so that was a mod showcase. Thank you all for watching. Um, if you get tired of me speaking, there are two channels that I want you to see. Um, they are in the description below, and they are on screen right now. <laughs> you guys missed it. I can't, I can't believe you guys missed it. That was right there. Okay, I'm going to give you another chance. I'm going to give you... You can click it if you want. In three, two, one. <laughs> you, you guys just clicked on a donkey. But seriously, guys, those are pretty good people. I've talked to them a little, and they sound like pretty good people. Their channels are pretty funny, so if you get tired of me speaking, go ahead and check them out. Stay sexy, you guys, and I will see you later. You like my house? Bye, guys!